I am here at White Mountain Petroglyph site and we are checking out the ancient birthing place of the Great Plains people with their hands carved in the stone of the Sandstone Mountain. Alright guys, I am on the back side of the Petroglyph site and I'm coming up on this cave. I wanted to check this out. This looks like a little little camp spot from maybe outlaws back in the day. There's a couple antelope or maybe mule deer carcasses, the skeletons left over down there. I don't see the birthing site anywhere around here, so I must be in the wrong location. Oh, check this out. There is a cave in here. It's pretty well hidden. And it's got black soot all over the ceiling. That's freaking cool. I don't want to go up here very far. Some people think that this was a birthing place for the Great Plains native people. And there are some rocks with some scooped out hands that people say that the women would hold on to when they were giving birth, but this would make for a great place to, to hide out way in the back, away from the elements, the wind and the snow and the cold. Maybe if you had a newborn baby, definitely a great place for shelter. Because you could just imagine up to a thousand years ago that the native people from this land would come here to birth their babies, their children, and hide back here to stay away from the elements. That's pretty freaking cool. Imagine the, the things that have happened and people that have been here back in this place. All right. It is a chilly, windy day today, for sure. I need to go see if I can find the the rocks that have the the scooped out handprints in them. I've seen them online, but I haven't been able to find them out here. They look really cool. I need to get some better shots of the and get some close-up shots of the the petroglyphs. They probably don't show it very well, but they're still here. It is very eroded. And there are markings all along the entrance also, but as you can see here, this is like eroded into sand. So these are very old. Really cool. All right, I'm coming up around the top edge of this rock formation. And there are some really cool petroglyphs here. That looks like some kind of animal, maybe a pronghorn or a mule deer or elk with maybe another one, like a baby inside of it. You can see how the wind has eroded this sandstone. And here's another 
elk or a deer with the antlers possibly. It is, uh, it's below freezing today and very windy. Typical Wyoming spring day. Now there are some sandstone rocks with the with what looks to be handprints scooped out of it from maybe when the the stone was softer, but I haven't been able to locate them. Uh, they're not going to just jump out at me, but just not seeing them. There's a fence here. You would think that would be the end of it, but it can't be. <laughs> all right, my fingers are numb and frozen. See all that with the uh, the holes and bubbles or whatever you want to call it. Looks like uh, coral or something. That's Tofani or Tofani. I think it's Tofani. It's from the uh, wind erosion of the sandstone here. I've walked around to the top of this little mountain, but I haven't come across the handprints. The view up here is pretty cool. I'm going to come up on the view of an ancient volcanic formation called Boar's Tusk. And it's basically the remnants of a volcano. You see it right over those bushes right here. I'm going to go check that out in a little bit. But I didn't see the, the handprints, so I don't know. There's Boar's Tusk right there. I feel like I have to keep walking, but the further I keep walking, the further away I keep getting. Seems like this would be way too far away from the cave. So I don't think this is the right direction. I'll peek around the corner. Okay, so I went on a nice little hike for no reason around the backside of this sandstone mountain. And right around the, the cave area, I was actually over here, I was looking at the, uh, the, the petroglyphs of the different animals with the babies inside. And then right here, this is the rock formation with the, the handprint that is scooped out of the stone that I was looking for, but it was right here all the time. And I just completely overlooked it. And there are some smaller ones here. So the story is that the women of these ancient Great Plains tribes would come here to birth their babies and they would put their hands into here to grip onto the the sandstone while they were actually giving birth. I, I don't know if it's true or not, but that's one of the stories. But what's also fascinating 
is that this sandstone looks like it is like smoothly scooped out of here. I'm not gonna, you know, actually touch it, try to keep this from eroding even more, but um, you can see there's a thumb and it fits all your fingers. I'm not sure about these smaller formations. Now, this is not the same as the wind erosion from these holes that you see all over the sandstone. This is very clearly scooped out and eroded in the, in the shape of, it looks like a person's hand. And maybe some time ago, this sandstone before it turned into stone was actually still soft and, and maybe wet. We've seen other places like Devil's Kitchen, the these formations of this, what ends up being sandstone is still soft. Even after it's been sitting there for hundreds of years, it's still soft and they were able to to mold it into this formation that looks like it's scooped out. Now here, so this is actually behind this rock, which is protected a little bit from the wind. And there is another five finger handprint right there. Pretty fascinating. And here's all the, the petroglyphs right here and they must tell some kind of story. That's definitely a baby inside of some kind of animal. I was about to give up, so I'm glad I walked back over this way and was was able to find the, the handprints in here because this was like one of the cool parts I wanted to show you guys. As some people think they had the ability to mold the formation of the stone back in the day, some kind of higher technology. But um, what I think this was just softer and when it was wet, you know, hundreds of years ago, maybe up to a thousand years ago. And they were able to mold this scooped out formation of the handprint. But that's a big hand. I don't know, that's a, I guess after hundreds or thousands of people have run their fingers through there, that's what it looks like. But it's not the same as these little hole pockets that you see all throughout the the sandstone that's that's not what this is i would say that it's definitely different it's very distinct and looks very intentional okay so this would be the place where they grip onto the rocks and then if you run around here the cave was right around this this corner would be a great place for the great place for the people to hide out and keep their babies safe. I gotta head out of here. I just tried to fly my drone up and the wind was so strong that the drone couldn't come back. <laughs> so I had to uh, emergency land it back where I parked the, the Jeep. All right guys, hope you thought this was pretty interesting. I thought it was with the handprints scooped out of the sandstone back there and how cool would that have been if this was actually an ancient birthing place of the Great Plains native people? Hope you enjoyed the video. I'm completely frozen. I'll see you guys.